Hi everyone, in this video I will be showing you how to make obono soup. Tasty obono soup. Obono soup we go draw. Obono soup we everybody go chop lick hand. So the first step will be to select your obono. You have to use the right obono. If you want obono that draws, you have to use the right obono. So first, I will place the obono in the dry meal and I will be using ogiri opi. If you don't have ogiri opi, you can use dawa dawa. If you don't have dawa dawa, you can use iru. They're all the same, just different shapes. This is actually fermented low-cost beans. It tends to add a very local traditional flavor to the soup. So the first thing I will be doing is I will place this in the dry meal and grind with the obono to form a very smooth powder. When it comes to obono, there are actually two foods which obono comes from. Now the main food obono comes from is not an edible food, but that's where the main obono um, is extracted from, the seeds from that food. Can you see that? So I'm going to set this aside and wash my stockfish. For this, I'm using stockfish head because I love the flavor from it. And it could be really dirty, it could have some insects in it. So to soften it up and also get rid of whatever might be in it, you have to pour hot water in it. Okay, and soak this for about um, 20 minutes. Just soak it, okay, till the water cools down. Then you're going to break it apart as i'm doing right now just break it apart For this soup, I'll be using ugum, but you can use other leaves such as bitter leaf, you can use uziza leaf, you can use any leaf you want. If you want your soup to last very long, like if you want to store it for a very long time without it changing its taste, you use bitter leaf. If you want to add that spicy flavor to the soup, you use Uziza, but if you just want it plain and tasty, you use ugu. You can also use a mixture of uziza and ugu, but for this, I will be using just ugu leaf to prepare this soup. Right now, I'm slicing the ugu leaves. I'm going to set that aside and cook the proteins that I will be using. Now, for this soup, I'll be using pomo, which is cowhide.
I'll be using shaki, which is tripe, and I'll be using beef. and snail. I'll place that in the pot and add salt to my taste and crush some bouillon cubes in the pot. Just crush it over the meat. Now here is one. Here's one thing. Most people will argue for soups, especially draw soup, you don't add onion. Well, I usually add <laughs> and it doesn't affect the viscosity of the soup. Okay, I know you, you all are going to argue about that, but <laughs> argue with your keypads. <laughs> okay, so. Once the meat is cooked and it has released its juices, I'm going to add water, then cover and cook for an extra 30 minutes till the meat, especially the beef and the snail have been cooked. After 30 minutes, I'm going to remove the beef and snail to give some extra time and I'm going to allow the shaki and momo to cook for longer because they actually take time to soften Now, while I'm giving the shaki and pomo extra time to cook, I'm going to add the stock fish in, into the broth right there, okay? Now it's going to add some extra flavor to this soup. So I'm going to leave this to cook for an extra 10 minutes before I remove and set aside. Now it's time to prepare the real Obono soup. So first I'm going to heat up palm oil and add my pepper. People are going to argue that, oh, it's only powdered pepper that is used for Obono. They like, use any pepper you want to use. Now turn down the, the heat from your bona and add the obono. So it's one bone. We're just going to stir this on very low heat. and add the meat stock now if you notice the texture the viscosity has increased can you see that it is now very viscous very thick Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add water into this. If you want it to be very thick, you add a little water. 
if you don't want it to be too thick you add more water so i'm going to mix this if you're sure about the obono you are using if you're sure you're using the real obono you can actually cover your pot but if you're not sure about the originality or the um if you're not sure you're using the real obono because there are two types of obono there's the ugiri there's one they call ugiri that's not the real obono if you're not sure of the type of opener, just leave it open and let it cook. And I will leave it to cook till it thickens like this. Next, you add your crayfish and mix. Okay, just add crayfish, mix, then I'll be adding the cooked protein into the soup right now. Just add that in and mix. Give it a good mix. Can you see how viscous it is? It's actually still thick. Some people argue it's not thick enough, but it's still very thick and viscous. It's like glue. <laughs> Can you see that? Next, I'm going to add my chopped vegetable into the soup. Just add as much as you like into the soup. And you mix. Just as I'm doing right now. Now you're going to let this simmer on low heat for about one or two minutes before turning off the burner and your opono is ready. It's that simple, right? <laughs> I think I'm going to enjoy this with correct pounded yam. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you enjoyed watching this video, you can give us a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. Till next time. Bye-bye. Uh...